Hi, I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel. And today I'm speaking with Troy Beaujolais, who is the new president and CEO of Murchison Minerals. Hi, Chris. Thanks for, uh, thanks for having me today. The last time I spoke with Murchison, which was their uh, chairman, was in September, and the stock's up 75% since, since then. So um, your company must be doing something right besides hiring you in October and raising $4 million. Uh, maybe you can give a quick overview of, of where you come from and, and what you're doing with the funds. Yeah, thanks, Chris. It's been a busy fall. Um, you know, subsequent to, uh, to me joining, as you mentioned, we raised uh, $4 million and uh, are deploying those funds at uh, our HPM project, which is a nickel copper cobalt project um, located in Quebec. So yeah, so those minerals are typically uh, used in what we would call a battery metal projects. And uh, maybe you can give us an idea of what you've done with the funds or how you've deployed them this summer. Yeah, so subsequent to raising uh, this fall, uh, we kicked off our inaugural drill program at HPM. So backing up a bit, HPM is a uh, nickel copper cobalt project in Quebec. Um, it is located in the Manicouagan region, just south of uh, Vermont um, and on the North shore of uh, the St. Lawrence River. So we've started drilling and we started drilling at our PYC target. Our PYC target is a uh, two kilometer long EM anomaly that has been prospected in detail. Uh, so the conductivity has been confirmed on the ground and then uh, subsequent sampling has taken place, which uh, defined um, a significant strike in width of uh, nickel bearing uh, sulfide mineralization. And so that's been the focus of the drilling uh, thus far this fall. And I know that previously you had some fairly good intercepts of, uh, you know, 1.7% nickel and some uh, copper and cobalt in there. Uh, what were you seeing from the results from the summer? Yeah, it, so the, the historic results are from Bardafur, which is a, another prospect on the property, uh, which is only a few hundred meters across the strike of PYC. And as you mentioned, that was 43 meters of 1.74% nickel, 0.9% uh, copper, and around 900 ppm cobalt. So what we're seeing at uh, PYC to date, um, seven drill holes completed to date, tested about 500 meters of strike length of that PYC target. And what we're seeing is nickel bearing sulfide mineralization ranging from semi-massive uh, to massive uh, to brecciated material, net brecciated textures into disseminated mineralization in all seven holes that we've drilled to date. So, you know, the drilling to date is certainly meeting our expectations um, for a maiden drill program at PYC and uh, has us extremely excited moving forward. So on the project, uh, what are the next steps for the project then? Yeah, so we'll finish up the drilling at PYC, the inaugural program. Um, we will uh, obviously look to um, get our assay results back um, and fully understand the scope and scale uh, of the mineralization that was intersected in that program. Um, while at the same time plan for uh, a significant uh, exploration program at HPM in 2022, where, um, you know, pending the assay results from PYC, um, we'll plan a program there, as well as continue to advance the regional scale potential projects, that being um, Bardafur, Sierra, um, really a, a large portfolio of highly prospective um, EM targets that are coupled with uh, prospecting results that have defined uh, mineralization, uh, nickel bearing sulfide mineralization at a number of them. So it, it's uh, it's looking up to be a busy 2022, um, you know, pending pending the work that's being done this fall. And that other project you mentioned, are you earning into that project in Quebec? No, that that's a hundred percent. That's a hundred percent Murchison. Uh, so Murchison has a dominant and strategic land package in the HPM area. We have 139 square kilometers of uh, mineral tenements um, within, you know, within that land package. Uh, there are 55 uh, EM conductors um, that we view uh, as being very favorable uh, for hosting uh, mineralization on the project. So as an investor, um, you know, we're into December now. So I guess as an investor looking for news flow for the next, uh, say, six months, uh, what can they anticipate from the company? Yeah, over the very near term, uh, 
we'll we'll have assay results coming back from PYC. Uh, as as most of your audience would be aware, some of the lab times are uncertain right now. Uh, however, we're using the SRC lab in Saskatoon, which has very defined turnarounds. And so we look forward to having results available early in the new year. Uh, post that, um, look, for, look for updates, look for more details around the 2022 uh, summer program, uh, spring and summer program for Murchison. So as a company that's uh, on uh, you know, people's radar for battery metals, I guess uh, Murchison should be uh, a company that they should uh, have in their, their watch list or maybe in their portfolio. Um, and and uh, any other comments you wanna make on, uh, on the company now that you've uh, recently joined? Yeah, we're at the very early stages. We're at the start of developing what we really strongly feel um, it is a project that has camp scale uh, battery metal potential. Um, it's an area that saw uh, exploration by Falcon Bridge, Extrata Glencore in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, we have since, you know, as recent as 2019, acquired 100% interest in this project. Um, we're, we're, we're at the start. Um, we've, def we have good results that are meeting our expectations to date, um, and look forward to continuing to develop this very exciting project, um, in an infrastructure area, rich part of Quebec. Well, that's great. Uh, uh thanks for your time, Troy. Today I was speaking with Troy Beaujolais, who's the, the new president and CEO of Murchison Minerals. Uh, ticker symbol is M-U-R on the TSX Venture Exchange. Thanks and have a great day. Thanks, Chris.